if if some time question is asked in the differentiation between taludar and zamindar you can clearly define so we have read zamindar padhaya nahi padhaya padhaya now let us see what is the power of taludar in 1857 first of all let us discuss what is the main causes okay so first causes is economic causes okay what is the causes economic causes is the first causes of the revolt so in case of economics what we have seen last time that there were economic policies right? so there, there are three to four type of economic policies were there one is a land revenue land revenue system is the one so in case of land revenue we have seen that there was a permanent settlement then we had a rehtwari then we had mahalwari so these all three three things were the exploitative in nature that we have seen in the previous chapters okay that is why the people were not happy peasants were not happy zamindars were not happy because they were getting only 10% of the total share okay in case of economic policy other reasons was the deindustrialization kaun tha deindustrialization so what happened in deindustrialization the indian industries handicraft industries was ruined because of the what was the main reason the main reason of this was yeah it was their policy their the industrialization britain they had machine made products but the indian products were handmade okay and they were putting more import charges on that import duties were very high so deindustrialization was the other one then we see there was a commercialization of agriculture what was there so commercialization of agriculture was there so the they basically focus on the cash crops okay so that is why the people were not happy with this these are the one then we have seen that in case of others marathas and other uh, armies were defeated so the army had to go back to their field to their agricultural areas okay so these people were facing the same problem that we saw yesterday also so what happened there was the economic policy of british was not good for the benefit of indians the fourth is a drain of wealth kya tha so many of the money they have taken from india to britain so these are the important economic policies of the british empire that was causing uh, that was disturbing the indian people that is why indian people revolted so this may be one of the reason not the most imp- one of the reason of the rise uh, break out of 1857 revolt then we have a political causes then this first of all they had defeated indian state hai na they had defeated indian rulers indian states so for example Uh, they have defeated maratha mysore then uh, sikh were defeated they have captured jhansi satara and then abad was finally annexed in 1856 so they have defeated all these uh, uh, matlab states so political cause is the most important reason apart from administrative causes if you remember the ics indian police service and then indian judges or judiciary in all of these uh, posts in all of these posts only the the britishers were appointed britishers were appointed indians were not appointed at this post so there were administrative causes apart from this one their laws and regulations were different the laws of the british were different for hindu different for muslims and different for themselves okay so there was administrative problems they were not ruling properly so main purpose of their rule was to exploit indian resources they were claiming that they are ruling india on the basis of utilitarian ideas that was a liberal policies that they are ruling here for individuality they are making rules for the happiness of individuals everyone will be happy in india but in real sense their policy was not like that one so admit from the administrative point of view their policies were not good in india okay like they brought english education in india indians had opposed completely in the 1830s so indians were not accepting english education okay so we can say there was a administrative causes also in this revolt later on what happened there is a socio religious causes how yeah christians after that which charter yet 18 charter yet 1813 charter yet the christian missionaries were allowed into india i mean the british religion in india hai na so this came under the idea of evangelicalism kaun sa tha evangelicalism so this came should i read the word evangelicalism so it clearly means that especially this is a philosophy of the british that they brought christians into india to preach christianity 
So this was there. So religion is the one. So Hindu and the Muslim, both religion, but targeted by the British. Okay, and then this also go into the uh, the the especially the spirits of religion. So we can say these people. Other thing, especially in this region, was abolition of sati. What is this? Sati. So people saw that it is a target on their traditional systems because the upper caste Hindu were practicing uh, sati partha. So when sati partha was banned. It was challenging to the Hindu society. So this is the one. Then they have challenged other things. There is a there is a many such things were challenged. So this is a socio religious problem is the one. Then we have discontent among sepoys. How sepoys? Because their salary was not good. Their salary was not good. The other point is that salary. The second point post post ha post war bhi hai post. That the maximum post given to any Indian soldier was subedar. Subedar means sub inspector type post. So they were not promoted more than subedar. So post is important. Salary is not good. If you remember, more than two third of the army of British Indian army were Indians. More than two third. But their maximum post was going up to subedar only. So this is important. Then their salary was very low. So they used to get booty. क्या बोलते थे इनको? Booty, war booty. So in the war booty, after 1853-54, there were no such big wars. After that Punjab war in 1840, right? Satara, Sambalpur, and other regions were very small, small regions. So there was no big war. Even the there was no battle between Awadh and uh, British before NHS. So what we see that war booty was not uh, given to the uh, sepoys because sepoys were not fighting any battles. So war booties were not there. Then other things, their conditions. Their lifestyle and condition is not good. Lifestyle and conditions, like the Sikhs were asked to cut their hair, है ना? The Sikhs were earlier allowed. They were asked to cut their hair. So their war style, they were not given proper food. So these are the activities through which we can say that Sikhs were not happy with the British power. If the questions come in the GS paper one, what is the main causes of the breakout of 1857 revolt? We will use We have so many words, right? But we have to use only two, two lines on all these points, and we can clearly write that these are the main factors behind the rise of 1857 revolt. Any doubt in this? Is clear? So let us see that how there is a rise of this revolt. So yesterday I had shown you this one that it started from Mangal Pandey from Mangal Pandey, Mangal Pandey especially Baja Sikhoi. In which well he was from Barakpur, है ना? कौन सा बैटलियन था? What is the battalion name? Thirty fourth battalion. So he was there. So in that battalion there was a some worker from lower caste, and he is a bandi. कौन से? Bandi lower caste से थे. Yeah. So this is a name. This is the name of that person. His name is Thalasi. He is a driver. कौन क्या होते हैं? Thalasi is a conductor. So Thalasi means Conductor who supports driver in the civil classy Matadin Bhangi. He asked Mangal Pandey a lota. Pani ni maya tha. He asked to give your lota. I will drink water. So he said, if I give my lota to you, it will become defiled. So that is why he refused. So he said, this is what we discussed yesterday. Jo nahi the, aap log par sakte. He said, kya? Bara awa hai Brahman ka beta. Jin kartuso ka tum upyog karte ho, un par gaye ya suvar ki charvi. लगावल जात है जिन्हें तुम अपन दातून से तोड़कर बंदूक में भारत हो वो समय तुम्हारी जाति और धर्म कहा जावत है अधिकार है तुम्हारे इस ब्राह्मण का ओके सो दिस इज द वर्ड इट इज ट्रांसलेटेड बाय बद्री नारायण इज अ वेरी फेमस हिस्टोरियन ही हैज रिटन अ बुक ऑन दलित्स एंड 1857 रिवॉल्ट सो दिस इज द वे ही से यू विल सून लूज योर कास्ट एज 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 हियर लॉन्ग यू विल हैव टू बाइट कट दिस कवर्ड विद द Fat of the cows and pigs. It is simply it. So this is the way it was said to him that you will use this. So it happened only in the uh, March month. And do you know what happened in the month of March only on the date twelve twenty nine March? Mangal Pandey had revolted. That he revolted. That he will not use that cartridge. This cartridge he will use not. So this is the way it started. And especially what is the uh, name? So it, when he started, he was hanged on the date twelve eight April. So on the date 8th April, that was the infield rifle. Who was that? 
enfield rifle so he will not use that enfield rifle so he was when he revolted he was hanged so on 29 march he revolted and on 8th of april he was hanged just within the within 10 days and just within uh, 20 days we can say 20 days within 14 plus 2 16 days there is a there is a third native cavalry battalion there is a third native cavalry battalion who which numbers were about 90 so 90 sepoys from the third native battalion had revolted against the british so one person was hanged so will you hang 90 people but they will also they were also punished so tabse start hua let us revise the date again on 29 march mangal pandey revolted on 8th of april we are in 1857 8th of april he was hanged after 16 days on 24 april 90 people, 90 sepoys from third native battalion had been revolting. Later on, what happened? They were also punished. So, what happened on 10th May? On the, the date is not so much difference. It is 8th April and this is 10th May. Within a month, a full a whole battalion from Merat had revolted. And they revolted from Merat and they, they marched towards Delhi. Revolt kya? Merat me. And they started marching towards Delhi and they reached Delhi on the day 12, 11th May. Next day. So, Sam and Nuclear, Subay Delhi, Pohonche, Paidal. So, what is the events? Main things is that they were destroying Indian caste and religion. And it was also said that the Britishers had missed, missed the bone dust of cows and pigs into the floor in the market. So, market mein jo bhi aata aa hai, the, the floors are coming in that the bone dust of cow and pig have been missed. The cow ka it means the Hindu won't be eating it. Me, uh, pig ka it means the Muslims won't be eating it. So this is the way revolt is started. So have we got the point how revolt is started? Any questions on this? No? So Mangal Pandey is the one who hanged within uh, 10 days after his revolt. Then within one month revolt happened in Merit. And now people from Merit uh, move towards Delhi. So Delhi hi kyo hai? Sabse bada reason hai. Why people move towards Delhi? So, the first question is, why is Delhi? So, let's see this example. Yeah. So, if you see this image, can you see what are they doing? These are the sepoys. The sepoys are talking to each other about the cow and pig. They have got it and we have to protest. So, they are spreading their madness. Look at the example. English were determined to wipe out the religion of the Hindus and the Muslims. Right? They had made a list of 84 rules right? and announced that this way they will do it. They announced these in the gathering of the all big kings and the princes in Tadatta. These are the rumors. These are the rumors being circulated by everyone. They right? you know, made 84 rules that they are going to destroy it. So this is the way the, the, the message was reaching out in every, every place. Every place the message was reaching out. One picture I want to show you more. Uh, these are the, if you see, there was some excitement in every regiment. Excitement was that it was very soon to revolt. Very soon, they were to, one person was coming from Maharashtra. One Pandit came from Maharashtra to UP. He had seen this. So, Sitaram Pandey is the one who had written about the message they were talking. The message part of the message. It is my humble opinion that this seizing of Avad filled the minds of the shipwise with distrust okay and that led them to plot against the government so this was the message he had written especially he is saying the agents of the nawab of awad and also the king of the delhi that is bahadusa jafar were sent all over india to discover the temper of the army Matlab especially awad nawab who, whose land had been captured and the delhi Batsa, whose territory has been captured they have sent their army to everywhere to see what are the British army are doing, to see their temper, are they revolting or not? Because Mangal Pandey had been hanged on which day, 8th of April. So within one month, these all things happened. So rumors were everywhere in India. So what happened on the 10th May? What's the date? 10th May, the sepoy from Merit they have attacked the house of the military officials. The military officers, the house of the military officers were attacked in Merit, and then they have captured their house. So this is the this is the image you can see. The sepoys are standing, and this is the house of officials. 
सो फ्रॉम देयर दे केम टू दिल्ली अब दिल्ली क्यों आएंगे दे केम टू दिल्ली बिकॉज दे हैव नो लीडर्स है ना द मैक्सिम पोस्ट इन द आर्मी बाज सूबेदार सो इंडियंस वर नॉट मोर देन द सूबेदार पोस्ट अगर बड़ा पोस्ट होता तो देर लीडर्स देयर ओनली वेयर कैन दे गो अब जिसका जो राजा क्या नाम था बहादुर Akbar Aurangzeb ruled for all India, so he knew that if we make Mughal Bassa as a ruler, everyone participate in the revolt. So they had their organization level. So from Meerut they came to Delhi. So they left Meerut on the tenth of night and they came Delhi in the morning of eleventh. So on the eleventh they came to Delhi. Just see Delhi. Hai. This is the way they came to Delhi. First of all, they have killed two people. Two people. First of all, they have killed two people. What is the name? फर्स्ट पर्सन इज साइमन क्रेजर तो साइमन क्रेजर थे साइमन क्रेजर वाज़ चीफ कमिश्नर ऑफ दिल्ली चीफ कमिश्नर ऑफ दिल्ली तो ही वाज़ किल्ड बाय द रेबेल ऑन द 11th ऑफ मे देन ही हैज किल्ड कैप्टन डगलस हु वाज़ अ फोर्ट इन चार्ज सो मुगल बादशाह वाज़ मुगल बादशाह वाज़ अ बादशाह ऑफ रेड फोर्ट ओनली इवन द चांदनी चौक वाज़ कंट्रोल्ड बाय ब्रिटिशर्स एंड दे हैव अपॉइंटेड देयर ओन ऑफिशियल इन चार्ज ऑफ फोर्ट आल्सो सो द मुगल ट्रूप्स वर देयर बट British official was also in charge of Red Fort. Okay, so first of all, two persons are killed. What is the name? Simon Crazer and uh, Captain Douglas. These two persons have been killed, and then they sent a message to the Bhatsa that I want to meet Bhatsa. So Bhatsa thought that why have they come? So उनके अपने पीए से पूछा पीए नहीं जो भी नाम रहा हो तो ये आज दिन तो the the assistant said that they have दूत ने बोला कि they have come to defeat you. And he ha. Huh, The Duke thought the ambassador, and then Bhatsa also thought that why have they come to us? We have we are ruling only the uh, Red Fort, so he thought that the rebel are coming to Delhi to defeat or capture Red Fort. So he did not meet the rebel for evening. Morning, so evening, he was sitting there, protest, karte rahe, please come. The Bhatsa did not come up. In the evening, he went out, and then he meet. Then he came to know that he came here to make him the leader. So he said, okay, what's your demand? So the people said that I want to to lead our revolt. So he said, "How can you lead your revolt? Because I am a ruler of Red Fort only. Even I do not have army. I do not have army, and then I also do not have fund. So how can and I'm I'm also 80 year old. So he was 80 year old at that time. So the point is, how can a Bhatsa rule this? है ना कैसे lead कर सकते थे? So this is the point. This is the way in which he was persuaded by the rebel. और ही एग्रीड ऑन द कंडीशन बस खान उस समय वहां इनके ऑफिशियल थे मिलिट्री कमांडर इन चीफ ऑफ मुगल बादशाह तो ही लीड द रूबोल है ना सो टेक्निकली ही वाज डिक्लेअर क्या नाम था बस द बे एस ओके सो दिस इज द इमेज ऑफ बहादुर शाह जफर एंड दिस इज द वे ही स्टार्टेड लीडिंग द तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट दे डिड दे हैव किल दीस टू पर्संस डू यू नो अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट All the persons, all the British officer who were in Delhi had two conditions within a day. उनके पास सिर्फ दो ऑप्शन थे. Option one, they will be killed. Option two, they will flee. So most of the, so all the British officers either killed or they fled from Delhi. दिल्ली से भाग गए. एक में तार ने बोला, एक तार में फोन करके बोला कि सर दिल्ली पे अटैक हो गया है, वहीं पे शूट कर दिया. आधा मैसेज पहुंचा पाया होगा. है ना? जैसे मूवी में होती है. है ना? So what happened? There is a very famous hospital in Delhi. This hospital is called Hospital Abhi. It was not hospital at that time. You must be hearing this name, Hindu Rao Hospital. Hindu Rao Hospital. Have you heard this word? No. Hindu Rao Hospital is near Delhi University, North Campus. So this Hindi Hindu Rao, this Hindu Rao Hospital was it was a palace of Hindu Rao. So in this palace, Britishers had had themselves. उस पैलेस में उनको छुपना पड़ा so most of them were killed and this was the ridge area in near by the hindu rao hospital if you go to red fort and upper side north north of the red fort are fully ridge area ridge matlab wahan pe pura pahar hai so the people were hiding in the people were hiding in the forest the ridge forest so they were 
चील और दे हैड फ्लेड ओके सो इन द मंथ ऑफ इन द मंथ ऑफ मे दिल्ली हैड बीन कैप्चर बाय द रेबल्स ओके दिल्ली हैड बीन कैप्चर बाय द रेबल्स एंड बादशाह वाज डिक्लेयर एज अ इंडिपेंडेंट सो व्हेन दिल्ली बिकम इंडिपेंडेंट ही ब्राउट सम ऑफ द रिफॉर्म्स बिकॉज़ दिस वुड हैव अ प्लान सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ही हैड अ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव रिफॉर्म्स दैट हाउ विल ही रूल दिल्ली है ना दिल्ली कैसे रूल करेंगे देन ही से ही ही डिक्लेयर अ फरमान दैट देयर शुड बी अ हिंदू मुस्लिम यूनिटी बहादुर शाह जफर जफर बैंड द मीट ईटिंग देयर वोंट बी स्लॉटर ऑफ काउस बिकॉज़ ही न्यू दैट द इफ द काउ विल बी स्लॉटर देयर वोंट बी यूनिटी बिटवीन हिंदू एंड मुस्लिम तो उन्होंने मैसेज लिखवाया डिक्लेयर फरमान लिखवाया कि काउ विल नॉट बी स्लॉटर्ड बाय मुस्लिम्स है ना सो दैट हिंदू मुस्लिम यूनिटी कैन बी अचीव देन ही सेंट मैसेज टू प्रिंसली स्टेट सबको कि प्लीज सपोर्ट प्लीज सपोर्ट दिस रिवेलियन ओके देन ही अरेंज for the military now the point is that he also brought social reforms sati pratha fir inhone bhi ban kiya so there won't be sati pratha women should be given the space so the first important problem is that these mutiny who kon the log they are the sipwise they are living for the salary so how will they rebel they need fund mughal badshah had no fund they also need salary na <laughs> these are the official the british government has not paid them salary so how will they separate so it was very tough for the badsha to pay them salary the badsha will not pay them salary what will happen they will revolt in the badsha so it was very tough to manage for the badsha so what happened there are two things happened in this time so these are the events a sub pictures hai uske aap dekh sakte hain how the vital had been done these are the things that were done at that time they had destroyed uh, in the lucknow residency had been captured okay There is a very important things that happened in the uh, this event. This event me jo hua, it was a shelter house where the British women, men and children had hide. It seemed like black hole, but not like that one. So in this what happened? The rebels had surrounded uh, this house and bombarded it. The Lucknow me jo Hazrat Malik kar rahi thi. In this Henry Lawrence was the chief commissioner was died. So now the powerful official Henry Lawrence had died in the house in Lucknow. This is examples we saw in the. battle time okay so other things what happened these are the examples you can say that the when the battle was happening when the battle was happening britishers were publishing these things later on in london that how the britishers were facing problem and they were saving themselves matlab they were portraying that they are with uh, they are with teams in india matlab they were portraying in european level at a international level they are making paintings and on the how what are they saying that The Britishers are with him in India. Like let us take example here. Here, what are you seeing? This is a uh, uh, in the in the Lucknow that the women were facing problems. The rebels had surrounded it and they were facing problems. Is it what are you seeing? One lady is killing all Indians. मतलब मतलब हाँ but no this is this is not Jhansi Rani. This is a Britishers. British women है हाँ other things ये देखिए आप बंदूक से मार रही है Miss Willard defending herself against Sipwajin. कानपुर सो ये तो अबला नारी जैसे हो गया ना कि मतलब सी हैड बीन मतलब टारगेटेड इन इंडिया सो दिस इज द वे एट इंटरनेशनल लेवल दे वर क्लेमिंग दैट इंडियंस आर टॉर्चरिंग ब्रिटिश पीपल इन इंडिया समझ में आ रहा है ए ए पॉइंट समझो लेटर ऑन व्हाट हैपेंड द ब्रिटिश ब्रिटिश लॉयन इज ओवर आवर बंगाल टाइगर है ना सो दिस इज अ बंगाल टाइगर और यहाँ पे है कि द बंगोल टाइगर हैड कैप्चर द चाइल्ड ऑफ ब्रिटिश एंड देन दे हैव अटैक तो ब्रिटिश लॉयन स्पेशली हैड कैप्चर अटैक ओवर बंगोल टाइगर गॉट द पॉइंट ये सब इमेज आपने पहले देखा है क्यों नहीं देखा एनसीआरटी में दीज ऑल इमेजेस आर फ्रॉम एनसीआरटी तो आपने एनसीआरटी मतलब पढ़ा नहीं है ओके बाद में पोर्ट्रेज हुआ दिस इज दस वर प्रोटेस्टिंग प्रोटेस्ट कर रहे थे क्या नाम है आजमगढ़ प्रोक्लेशन सो दिस प्रोक्लेशन इज डन बाई फिरोज शाह ग्रेंड सन ऑफ बहादुर शाह जफर सो लखनऊ में जब थे 
So what he said? He said that especially he fought against uh, British in the Lucknow. And then he had promised the people that everyone should be under the control of one umbrella. That there should not be any Hindu-Muslim differences. Okay. So he has worked further. He declared that all sections of Indian society had suffered badly under British rule and thus called for the unity against the alien rule. Hena, he talked. He had brought five important agenda. He instructed Jamindar that you have also been exploited. So if you have exploited Indian people, do not exploit. And you are exploited by Britishers, support us. So he issued agenda related to Jamindar. He also asked merchants to support in many sense to provide some fund and all. He asked especially the public servant. Into bola support karne resign karne ke liye bola. Then he talked about the artisans that they have been exploited. They especially they issued a notice to Parmans to Pandit, Fakirs and other learned persons that basically Piroz Shah was asking everyone to support in the battle in the battle from Lucknow. So this question can be asked. Ekla bhuva 1857. Azamgarh progression is issued by Firoz Shah. Kuba ji. He was a grandson of Bahadur Shah, Jafar. It was from Lucknow. Se hua. These are the agenda. Our main purpose kya tha? Hindu Muslim unity. And they were asking everyone to support the battle. Support the battle. So, this is the way the battle was happening. We have seen that how Bahadur Zafar was doing in what he was doing the reforms. Okay. So, when these things were happening, where were Britishers? Britishers lo, kaha, kaha te, hum thodi baad dekhenge, hai? So, these are the important leaders we have seen. Okay. So, one such leader is Bahadur Shah. Uba ji, Dilli Badsa. Then we have General Badsa. He was official of Bahadur Shah Zafar. Then we have Nana Sahib. Who is Nana Sahib? Nana Sahib was the Peshwa. And after the third Anglo Maratha war, huh, the Peshwa she was put on pension. They were they, their land was captured in 1819. So he was an adopted son. He was an adopted son. Ha, Bajira too. So, adopted son tha te, according to the doctrine of labs, see, the Maratha, Maratha territories were already captured. But he was adopted, so he was denied pension. He was asking for pension only. So, he was denied pension and he was brought, uh, now tell me, how was he in Kanpur? The Peshwa is from Pune. So, how he is, he is revolting in Kanpur? He was deported from Pune to Kanpur so that he will not organize people long before. So he was residing in Kanpur because he was just a uh, Abad Nawa was deported to Bengal. So he was already deported. So he was residing in Kanpur and he was supported by other generals called Tatya Tope. He was the one who was supporting Nana Saheb. Then we have a Begum Hadrat Mahal. Anna. Then we have Khan Bahadur. We will discuss about one by one. Gubar Singh is from Bihar. Kya naam tha? Gubar Singh from Jadishpur in Bihar. Then we have Malbi, Ahmadullah and Rani Lakshmi Bai. These are the important uh, generals, important uh, leaders who fought 1857 revolt. So let us see one by one. Abhi ko koi doubt hai? Any doubt? So, we already have read about it. So, let us discuss one by one what are these features. Okay. So, first person, let us see, Bad Khan. He is a leader of Bihar in 1857. Especially under the control of Mughal Emperor Bahadur Shah Jafar. Because he was 80 years old. He was 80 years old. Anyone wants to add something? Okay, so Bat Khan Kwan, he was a general of Bahadur Zafar. So he was leading the battle in 1857. Do you know Bahadur Zafar was son was not happy? He wanted to lead the rebel. But uh, lead Karni Ramadi Sadia, Bat Khan he was very unhappy with his father. Okay, so he had previously led the Sipwa's rebellion in the Bareli Melekia. And then from this date, he started doing this work. So he formed a court of soldiers with both Hindu and Muslims, and he was. Uh, solving the disputes among the people. Second person is Rani Lakshmi Bai. Especially, she dis matlab, initially she had paid the petitions to the British. British ko petition diya that our land should not be captured. But her land was captured according to the doctrine of lapse because her husband had uh, 
uh, adopted the child. Okay, so this is the one. Third, we have Begum of Abad. So we have uh, Hazrat Mahal. Pranay? Hazrat Mahal. So she was the one. So she provided leadership in Lucknow and she proclaimed especially her son Birjis Pradir as the Nawab of Abad. When Nawab was sent there, he was sent there. So do you know what happened? Uh, Birjis Pradir acknowledged Bahadur Shah as the Emperor of India. Before that, they were not claiming. Do you remember? Salam, Sikhen and Sudaudola, they had differences. Hai na? So they parted, but they are the one, they claim him as a, this one. But you know, a revolt there is a, there is a transparency that the people were not in the, uh, in this, the people were not happy with having Bahadur Shah as a Batsa of India. Because the rebel had declared that Bahadur Shah Jafar is a Batsa of India. So how will they accept it? Maratha were the powerful before it. Mughals were not powerful before this. So how will Maratha will accept Bahadur Shah as a powerful ruler? Or how the Hindus, other Hindu, Maratha not, how other Hindu will accept Bahadur Shah as a powerful ruler or as a ruler of Hindustan? Because the Aurangzeb, you can see that Aurangzeb had been a tyrannic ruler, a religious bigotry. So the people were also not happy with these decisions. But they just still transferred. So it was that uh, Birjish Kadr sometime wanted to lead the revolt. That he will be the, Hindu, the leader of Hindustan. So there was already a conspiracy among the people. That what will happen if we will overthrow British from India. So there was no plan. Big plan. Nahi thank you, but how they will handle. Okay. Then we have Nana Sahib and Tatya Tope. So Nana Sahib is the one adopted son. We know Baji Rao. Tuta. Inko, uh, se kiya. Then he is supported by Tatya Tope. Kubar Singh is from Bihar. It is said that he had led a band of 5,000. He came to Uttar Pradesh to fight against the British, but he was injured. And then he was not killed on the battle, but he passed away when he was going back home. So these are the main fives. Apart from it, two are very important. These are the local people. One is a Samal. Samal Kronth Aap Logne Padha Hoga. He is a leader from the Uttar Pradesh and Haryana regions. So he was a Jaat. Kronth hai? Jaat. And in UP, there is a Chaurasi Desh. Chaurasi, so Desh means village. Hota hai, hai? So he is from, he is from a community of 84 village, Chaurasi Desh. So he was leading this community, but do you know what happened? These people were facing a lot of problems due to land revenue. Land revenue and outsiders were also coming. So especially Sahamal with the leaders of Chaurasi different villages. So from the Muthiya, of Chur headman of Charasi, different, 84 different villages, he revolted against the, the Britishers. Okay. So what he had done in the revolt? He is out of that five, six persons. Hai na? So what he had done, he, these two, he is not directly related to the revolt. Directly nahi hai, but indirectly he is supporting a lot in the revolt. So what is the name? Sah Mal. He was from that community. He is from Uttar Pradesh, 84 Uttar Pradesh and Haryana. So, first of all, he had attacked on some of the things. What is the attack? Government buildings are attacked. He had destroyed the bridges on the rivers. So, he had destroyed the bridges. Then, he had dug up the, the metal road so that they, they cannot transport their armies. Then, he had supplied food and resources to Delhi. This is the indirect support to Delhi. Then, do you know the bangla of English officers but captures? And the Bangla of English officer was made as a court. Court bana diya in Lugan, hai na? So Bangla of English officer was captured and made as court. Then he, where he had uh, settled many disputes, hai na? SRA, you know, kaam kiya. But finally, in July, he was killed by the Britishers. So this is the, what is the name? Sahmal. The second person is a Malbi Ahmadullah of Hyderabad. So he was uh, born and brought at Hyderabad. He was from Hyderabad, se. Uh, unke, padha likha so he was a son. So he was preaching everywhere. But the, before 1857 revolt, he was preaching everywhere, everywhere that the British rule is not good. They are not ruling us properly. So he was preaching political masses among the people. Okay, in Hyderabad. So one day he was traveling from Hyderabad to Delhi, 1857. So Britishers thought that he he came to Latnau and Kanpur to preach against the Britishers and they he came to uh, Lucknow to support rebels. So he was not directly part of 1857 revolt. He was not directly part. So before he came to Lucknow, 
ही वॉज कैप्चर एंड पुट इन जेल इनको कैप्चर के जेल में रख दिया गया सो लेटर ऑन वेन ही केम आउट ऑफ जेल इन दैट ईयर ही स्पेशली ही वॉज इलेक्टेड बाई द पीपल लीडर ऑफ द ट्वेंटी सिक्स नेटिव इन्फेंट्री एंड देन ही हैड लेड द रिवॉल्ट सो ही वॉज इनिशियली अ रिलीजियस सन वॉज प्रेसिंग पोलिटिकल मैसेज एगेंस्ट द ब्रिटिश एम्पायर कहा से हैदराबाद से आ रहे थे सो दॉट द पॉइंट सो ही इज द वन हु लेट द रिवॉल्ट इन लखनऊ कौन सा रिविलियन है ट्वेंटी सिक्स नेटिव Infantry. This is, and he had found a very famous battle called Battle of Singrat. Okay, where it was led by Henry Lawrence. Bad me Henry Lawrence had died. Okay, we have seen that. Okay, so this is the way. This is the way Indians were fighting. So, आपने मैसेज देखा कहाँ कहाँ फाइट हो रहा है? The fights are happening mainly in Meerut, Delhi, Kanpur, Lucknow, Jadhispur, Bihar, then Jhansi, Bihar, in Madhya Pradesh, Sambal, ha, Uttar Pradesh only, है ना? हैदराबाद देन सम पार्ट्स ऑफ हरियाणा एंड देन नॉट इन पंजाब डायरेक्टली पंजाब में आर्मी थे बट आर्मी वॉज कंट्रोल सो दिस इज द ओनली रीजन वेयर द बैटल वॉज हैपनिंग सो वी आर लिमिटेड ओनली नॉट ऑल पार्ट ऑफ नॉर्थ इंडिया मतलब इट वॉज नॉट इन छत्तीसगढ़ नॉट इन झारखंड सो दीज आर द रीजन रिवेलियन वॉज डन ओके एनी डाउट इन लॉ सो कौन से महीने में दिल्ली कैप्चर हुआ था मे वट इज अ डेट इलेवेंथ दस ऑन टेंथ दे रिवेल इन मेरठ देखे सो ऑन द इलेवेंथ में दिल्ली वॉज कैप्चर सो नाउ वट वर दे डूइंग ब्रिटिशर्स कर क्या रहे थे हाँ और शिमला में थे सो दिस वॉज द मंथ ऑफ समर सो दिस वॉज मई मई इज द मंथ ऑफ समर सो देवर इन शिमला एंजॉइन देयर वेकेशन है ना उनका कैपिटल ही था ओके सो देवर इन शिमला सो डी नो वट दे हैव डन ये हम एग्जाम्पल देख लेते हैं वी हैव झांसी कानपुर लखनऊ फैजाबाद बरेली मेरठ दिल्ली दीज आर दिन सेंटर फ्रॉम ए इम्पोर्टेंट सेंटर है अदर सेंटर ऑफ रिवॉल्ट दीनापुर आजमगढ़ बी हाफ जौनपुर दीज आर दरिया वेर द रिवॉल्ट अपेंड स्लोली ग्रेजुअली बट दीज आर द मेजर सेंटर ऑफ रिवॉल्ट ओके सो हाउ दे रिस्पॉन्डेड वट इज द रिस्पॉन्ड ऑफ द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट सो दे वर एंजॉइंग एट विच प्लेस शिमला में ठीक है उससे पहले एक चीज और पढ़ते हैं अवध के बारे में दिस इज वाजिद अली शाह सो वाजिद अली वाज इल एक क्वेश्चन आ सकता है कि टू रीच इन द मेथिया बुर्ज इन कलकत्ता कोलकाता में साइल किया गया एंड रिवोल्ट हुआ अवध में सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट है देर वॉज नो जमींदार सिन अवध देर वॉज नो जमींदार इन अवध देर वर तल्लुदार दे आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम जमींदार जमींदार आर द ब्रिटिश ऑफिशियल और बिकॉज से दे आर दस इंटरमीडियर दे आर ओनली कीपिंग टेन परसेंट शेयर सो उसको हम जिस हिंदी में बड़ा प्यारा वर्ड है दलाल है ना बिचौलिया बोलते हैं ठीक है सो दे आर इंटरमीडियर बट इन केस ऑफ तल्लुदार दे आर वेरी पावरफुल इफ इफ समाइम क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट इन द डिफरेंशिएशन बिटवीन तल्लुदार एंड जमींदार यू कैन क्लियरली डिफाइन सो वी हैव रेड जमींदार पढ़ा है नहीं पढ़ा है पढ़ा है नाउ लेटर सी वॉट इज अ पावर ऑफ तल्लुदार ही है Land. Jamindar had no forts. He had forts. Means they were the local chieftains. Well, began say that they are the local chieftains. They can be compared like samant in ancient time. Samant, itedar nahi. Itedar to official the. Itedar se bata official of Delhi Sultanate. Sa, ha. Samant to they are the local powerful people, hai na? So they are the everyone in the society. So we can say that they are like. We can compare them like Amar Nayak. है ना अमर नायक हु आर वेरी पावरफुल है ना सो हु आर दिस तलुत दार्स दे हैड पर्सनल आर्मी आल्सो पर्सनल आर्मी मनसबदार वर मेंटेनिंग आर्मी फॉर द स्टेट दे कैन नॉट यूज फॉर पर्सनल पर्पस ना स्टेट के लिए चलते थे दे हैड वेरी मच पावर दे हैड जुडिशियरी सिस्टम आल्सो मतलब ये अपना कोर्ट भी चलाते थे लोग सो वी कैन से दैट दे आर द लोकल रूलर्स दे आर द लोकल रूलर्स अंडर नवाब अवध अबव अंडर द नवाब Abad. So these were the Talidars. Who was what? When the state, when the Abad was annexed, in which date? 1856. When the Abad Abad was annexed in 1856, they had also confiscated the land of Taludar. The Taludar ka photo hai. So they had confiscated the land of Taludar. They had made them disarmed. But their military power, their their arms have been captured. What's the point? so they have been become powerful but they have misunderstood 
the, the Britishers had underestimated Taludars. There were the two lakh peasant youths who had supported Taludars, and when the Meret Mujab revolt hua, that peasant suffered along with that two lakh peasant youth, jo ghar ke youth the, they had revolted the battle. And this is the image we can see. Image is not here. Or this is color. Okay. So are we getting the point? So the youth and the peasants of our region, under the support of Taludar, had revolted against the Britishers. But Taludar is very strong. How? They betrayed. They betrayed the local people. So how many people? Two lakh peasants and youth had supported Taludars, and Taludars revolted in the Battle of 1857. So initially, the, when the battle started in Meerut and Delhi and other places, there was revolt happening everywhere in Awadh region. Awadh kaha pe hai? Uttar Pardas. So revolt was there everywhere in the Awadh. But do you know what happened? When the Britishers said that, we will restore your land. So bole, okay sir. Aap hi sab chiz hai, hai na? So when the British said that, the British will restore their land, they betrayed, Jamin, they betrayed peasants and wo apne haath wapis le li. So initially, Taludars had participated in the battle. The failure pencil is so this is an example. Hai. That Taludars had initially revolted with the support of peasants. They provided leadership, but in the last when British restored their land, they, bit, they, uh, they betrayed the Taludar. Hi betrayed hai, na? They betrayed the peasants. And they betrayed the peasants. And the peasants were individually who were fighting. A point is who are the peasants? Or who are army? You remember, एक बार मैंने बताया था, in the Bengal army, Bengalis were not there, है ना? Bengalis were very happy with their fees, है ना? तो they were rich people. Army में कौन जाते हैं? Who need money? Army में death भी होता है, so most important जाने का देश भक्ति अलग चीज होती है. उससे पहले पैसा, पैसा जरूरी होता है, ठीक है? Salary. So the people go into army. Otherwise, why constable people will be uh, by the normal constable of army? The subset lower post of the soldier, ka, why will they pay three to four like uh, donation to go into army? DC level ke post may donation lakti hai jane mein. Jo direct recruitment hota hai na district mein. No exam, door lagana hai, recruitment hoga, fir exam dena hai. Us mein donations lakti hai. And people give three to four like rupees for 20, 25,000 salary. Hai na? So the point is, but we will not go into that debate. Okay. Aap kya samaj rahe? Who are these army? So the Lord, the peasant family of Abad had sent their sons in battlefield. A point is why army revolted. So army had different causes we have seen. But the other people, the one historian hai, Rudransu Mukherji, unhone bola hai, that the peasants were the peasant ke baare mein bola, the peasants are the arm in on the field. It is a statement. Hai. A statement hai. Pigeons मतलब किसान है ना? Pigeons were armed on field. A statement. The pigeons were armed on field. And other statement was the armies, the pigeons were informed in army because they are the sons. So, so what will happen? These are the pigeons who were in serving India, who were serving British Indian army. Now their father's land had been captured in Awadh. So will they stay silent? So because they are the sons of Awadh, Awadh uh, peasants, their land had been captured by British government. So those who were in army, they had revolted. So Kisan ko problem hota hai, Jawan ko problem hoga na? Because Jawan, the most of the Jawan soldiers are from which section of society? Peasant section of society. Middle class do not go to become soldier. Middle class nahi hata. Middle class people go to the higher rank. A uh, richer class never participate in the uh, army. Army mein kabhi nahi jate log. Not in police service, not in ICS, okay? Got the point? Some other time we will debate on it. So, got the point? So, aapko samaj maaya, why were they revolting? So, the, they were betrayed by Taludars. We can write two, three lines on the topic that how and why Taludar had revolted, betrayed, hai na? A point, sir. Now let us see the points the company fights back. Kaise fight kar raha hai? So, jab revolt hua tha on the 11th of May, message was sent to the commander in chief. The commander in chief name is General George Anson. Kya naam hai? 
General George Anson. He was having tea in the the summer season in Simla. Simla में मजे ले रहे थे. When he got a message, he thought there is a normal revolt. There is a revolt हो रहा है ना? So there is a normal revolt. So he didn't respond. He took it lightly. Then he had sent a message to Punjab. Delhi was not a state. Delhi was not a province at that time. The province was the northwest frontier. जिसका हेडक्वार्टर अभी अम्बाला में था ठीक है सो दिस वाज़ अ नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न फ्रंटियर दिल्ली वाज़ जस्ट अ स्मॉल यूनिट जहां के ऑफिसर कौन होते थे चीफ कमिश्नर सो दिल्ली हैड नो गवर्नर दिल्ली हैड नो लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर इट हैज ओनली चीफ कमिश्नर सो ही हैड सेंट अ मैसेज टू अम्बाला और वहां पे आर्मी स्टेशन थी बिकॉज़ दे हैड बैटल अगेंस्ट दुलीप सिंह दे हैड डिफीटेड सिंह सो ऑल द बंगाल आर्मी वर नॉट इन बंगाल दे वर इन पंजाब तो नाम के बंगाल आर्मी थे क्वेश्चन है कि बंगाल आर्मी ने रिवोल्ट किया बंगाल में रिवोल्ट क्यों नहीं हुआ बिकॉज आर्मी वाज अपसेंट इन बंगाल दे वर इन पंजाब ओके सो द पॉइंट इज दैट सो दिस इज थिंग्स हैपन सो ही सेंट अ मैसेज टू जॉन लॉरेंस दैट यू टेक एक्शन ऑन दिल्ली दिल्ली पे एक्शन लीजिए बट डू यू नो दे हैड अ फाइनेंशियल प्रॉब्लम आल्सो ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी वाज नॉट एस्टेट इट वाज अ कंपनी तो कंपनी क्या चाहेगा जितना प्रॉफिट हो जाए सो डू यू नो दे हैड सोल्ड ऑल एलिफेंट्स एंड हॉर्सेस After Punj- after Punjab defeat, why they will save money? Means horse or elephant base diye the. So do you know they had no horses and elephants available? It survey me. I know that there were 30 hathi unke pas bache hui the. How will they transport their soldier from Ambala to Delhi? And in between what happened? Revolt broke out everywhere. So they had no transportation transportation resources. George Anson came, but he died. मतलब he was not till he died in between. There are two generals who are very cruel. क्या नाम था? General Nicholson and William Hudson. Nicholson के बारे में एक हिस्टोरी लिखते हैं। एक हिस्टोरी का नाम है William Dudley Emple. Okay. William Dudley Emple he has written a book for 1857. और उनकी बुक का नाम है The Last Mughal. The Last Mughal. और उसमें चैप्टर है सबको मार डालो. सबको मार डालो चैप्टर का नाम ही है ठीक है सो इन दैट चैप्टर ही हैड रिटन कि निकल्सन के मतलब हाउ यू विल अंडरस्टैंड एक एक आदमी स्टोरी बता रहा हूं मैं ठीक है सो देयर वाज अ पर्सन हु आस्क निकल्सन आए हैं क्या तो बोलता है नो आई डोंट नो तो तीसरा बोलता है अरे डोंट वरी जैसे यू आएंगे पता चल जाएगा तो हाउ विल यू कम टू नो वंस ही कम है ना तो एक आदमी पीछे बोलता है निकल्सन आ गया तो हाउ डिड यू कम टू नो दैट निकल्सन आ गया तो बोला है वहां पे पांच बॉडीज टंगी हुई है मतलब निकलसन आके पांच लोगों को टांग के गया है मतलब ही वाज अ वेरी क्रूल दैट जहां भी जाता था इंडियन को मारता था सो इफ सम सम वेयर द बॉडीज आर हैंग इट विज निकलसन हैड कम ओके सो दिस इज द वे ही द वे ही वाज सो क्रूल इतना इतना क्रूर था वो सो निकलसन एक था दिल्ली वालों ने तो मार दिया व्हेन ही केम टू दिल्ली ही वाज अटैक्ड बाय द राइफल एंड ही वाज in the uh, in the hospital for hindu rao he was hospital for 15 days aur bar bar message le raha tha kya hua kya hua last me he died and near kashmir gate he had uh, unka dargah hai matlab dargah kya bolte hain uh, memorial so new near kashmir gate uh, anson ka jo body hai dafnaya gaya koi jata bhi nahi hai wahan pe theek hai <laughs> so anson was uh, injured injured in the battle okay other person is william hudson so do these two are the very important army general in ambala so they came from ambala to delhi delhi tak wapas aaye so this is the way they started wo so, delhi aaye capture kiye this is a british force attack over rebel fort delhi pe attack kiye hain this is a uh, matlab siege train reaches delhi in september and revolt kab hua tha 11th how many months they have to, to come to delhi about 4 months roughly may जून जुलाई अगस्त रफली फोर मंथ है ना सो दे हैव टेकन रफली फोर मंथ सो फॉर फोर मंथ दिल्ली वाज इंडिपेंडेंट दे कम ऑन थर्ड सबसे पहले आए तो इन्होंने सेंट सेंट जेम्स चर्च है चर्च है दिल्ली में आपने नाम सुना है सेंट जेम्स चर्च इट इज इट इज नियर कश्मीर गेट मेट्रो स्टेशन एंड हैव यू गोन टू रेड फोर्ट टू किलोमीटर डिस्टेंस ऑफ रेड फोर्ट इन द नॉर्थ So Saint James Church, it is the oldest church of Delhi. So first of all, they have attacked church, church to attack here, church from here came, and they made their church as a battalion base. Church came, then church from south, Red Fort. 
so church pe aaye then they capture uh, chandni chowk when they capture chandni chowk i told you a story last time that every one fled from this area to south delhi and there was only one person living there was mirza galib it was he was drunk and sleeping he couldn't realize that he have to flee so mirza galib so rahe the unhone pura incident dekha fir likha pura how britishers had killenians but britishers ko tareef kiya unhone apne book mein kyon tareef kiya do you remember uh, jiauddin barni jiauddin barni was a friend of mohammed tughlaq and he was put in jail by firoz shah tughlaq so he had written a history of firoz shah tughlaq aur naam bhi diya tareekh e firoz shah just to please the king ki hame chhod de hai na so he was he has written that tareekh e firoz shah in jail so he has written that uh, story and he said that i was given pension by mughal badshah ab to badshah hai nahi to aap hi hamare mai baap hai to he requested britishers to give pension hai na pension ke liye unhone likha mirza galib ke paas 40000 ka kabza tha hame nahi 40000 char lakh ho gaya tha nahi 40000 hi hai okay so these are the places they have captured so they have first of all captured kashmir ke kashmir ke it is a image of captures then british forces captured the rebels near kanpur so this is the images we see so initially they came and they had taken how many months four months to come to delhi so let us see that who in the exam question kaise aate hain there will be uh, option the the indian ruler and they have been defeated by which british generals hai na to let us see that hai na ki kaun kaun se british official the and how were they killing indians hai na these are the further examples a hai hudson ab dekhiye hudson is given pose hai na photo is bar hai pose dekhiye hai na she was so young na ah to he is hudson so he is the one this is the way the things were coming so first of all let us see the persons okay one is a general john nicholson so he came to delhi he captured delhi on 20th september they have taken about 15 days to capture delhi uh, nicholson especially he was injured in the battle and then he died in the hospital or not on the battlefield in the hospital mein mare then we have a major hudson he killed bahadur sah sons and grandsons unke sirf do bete bache the फैमिली में जो बनिया होते हुए काम किए एंडल सो स्पाई के बदौलत ही वो दिल्ली को जीत पाए हैं ठीक है दिस इज द वन देन व्हाट वी सी दीज आर द सीन्स डिटेल्स हम थोड़ा देख लेते हैं सो सितंबर महीने में क्या हुआ दिल्ली वाज कैप्चर बाय ब्रिटिश ऑन 20 सितंबर के आसपास इंपीरियल बहादुर शाह जफर वाज अरेस्टेड तो हुआ क्या था बिफोर द अरेस्ट ऑफ बहादुर शाह लेट मी टेल अ स्टोरी सो ही हैड फ्लेड फ्रॉम रेड फोर्ट बिकॉज़ रेड फोर्ट वाज सपोज्ड टू बी कैप्चर सो ही फ्लेड फ्रॉम रेड फोर्ट फ्रॉम द बैक गेट एंड देन ही वाज लिविंग सीक्रेटली इन हुमायूं टॉम हुमायूं टॉम कहाँ पे है दिल्ली में निजा, निजा, निजामुद्दीन औलिया के पास दरगाह के पास निजामुद्दीन जगह है ना तो ही वॉज लिविंग नियर निजामुद्दीन पहले ओल्ड फोर्ट में फिर निजामुद्दीन में दरगाह हुमायूं टॉम में रुके हुए थे सो ही वॉज सजेस्टेड बाई बस खान दर यू प्लीज लिव टू लखनऊ बिकॉज लखनऊ में रेबिलियन बहुत ज्यादा मतलब इन द लखनऊ रेबिलियन वॉज क्रस ओनली इन एटीन फिफ्टी एट This is September 1857. So they, uh, especially Bahadur Shah, was advised by official that you leave Delhi, and the our personals are there in Lucknow transport. They will help you, so you will be protected there. So he decided not to leave Delhi. Then, bad me, Sipai ne bataya, Spai ne bataya that Bahadur Shah is hiding in Humayun Tomb. So British governor came and he had captured him. And captured him, where did he go? 
रंगून रंगून इन बर्मा है ना तो ही वॉज सेंट टू बर्मा और उनके पे ही ही वॉज पुट ऑन ट्रायल ऑल द पर्सन वर किल इन झांसी की रानी वी हैव हिज सन्स एंड डॉटर्स और मोस्ट ऑफ द पर्सन हैड फ्ली जनरल चले गए दे वर किल बट ओनली पर्सन हुज नॉट किल इज बहादुर शाह जफर वाई ही वॉज नॉट किल इम्पीचमेंट है ना उस ही वॉज पुट ऑन ट्रायल एंड देर इज अ फोर हंड्रेड पेज ट्रायल डायरी फोर हंड्रेड पेज ही हैड कॉल ऑल द ऑफिसियल ऑफ रेड फोर्ट टू गिव दियर स्टेटमेंट स्टेटमेंट दैट इन्होंने क्या कॉन्स्पेरेसी किया सवाल पूछा गया क्या इनके सफाई से पूछा जो असिस्टेंट था डिड यू हियर एनी वर्ड दैट ही वॉन्टेड टू रिवेल एगेंस्ट इंडियन गवर्नमेंट ऐसे ऐसे सवाल पूछे गए एक आदमी को पांच दिन बुलाया गया सवाल पूछे दे वॉन्ट टू शो दैट they want to show indians that your ruler who are claiming who are claimed to be the badsha of india are traitor is traitor samajh mein aa raha hai matlab british wanted why trial happen sab simple questions hai trial happen because british wanted to prove that bahadur shah zafar is a desh droh hai raj droh hai sedition charge laga unpe us samay law nahi bani thi 1860 wale ipc dhara bani nahi thi आईपीसी धारा में सबसे पहला लॉ यही है 124 ऐसे रीजन अगर आप राज दरो कर सो ही वाज पुट ऑन सेडिशन चार्ज बादशाह है भाई इंडिया के बादशाह था वो हु वाज पुट ऑन सेडिशन चार्ज विद अ फॉरेनर तो इनको इनपे ट्रायल लगा है असल में व्हाई ट्रायल हैपन अगर सीधे मारते तो जस्टिफाई नहीं हो पाता मतलब अगर सीधे फील्ड पे मारते तो लोगों का सिंपैथी होता ट्रायल हुआ तो जलील किया गया एंड टोल्ड दैट योर रूलर is traitor so this is the way he was put in trial and sent to burma the yahan pe hua then we have other uh, dynasty came uh, tanpur mein rebel hua to wahan pe gaye the jhansi ki rani she died on the battlefield on 17 june 1858 by 1859 kubar singh also died but khan then we have khan bahadur of bareilly and molbi ahmadullah were also dead by this time while begum of awadh escaped to nepal उन्होंने नेपाल चले गए बाय द एंड ऑफ 1859 ब्रिटिशर्स अथॉरिटी हैव टेकन ओवर एंड दे हैव रीएस्टैब्लिश देयर रूल अब पॉइंट है दीज आर द ऑफिशियल सेट पर देख लेते हैं सो so, हडसन क्या किए थे ही किल बहादुर शाह ऑल सन्स एंड ग्रैंड सन दिल्ली निकलसन कैप्चर दिल्ली बट ही डाइड इन द हॉस्पिटल देन वी हैव जनरल मेल ही कैप्चर बनारस एंड अलाहाबाद इन जून 1885 एट कानपुर ही हैड किल इंडियन साजा revenge against the king of english by nana saheb forces hai na then he died in lucknow while fighting against the rebels so general neel jo the he died in kahan pe mare the lucknow he died in lucknow remember this thing hai na kaun se mare then we have sir hill wheeler so he uh, he fought against nana saheb forces till 1856 and british forces forces surrender initially on this time hai na we have colin campbell the final recovery of kanpur was done on him uh, him only in december or inhone lucknow ko bhi occupy kiya theek hai henry lawrence he was killed in that house in lucknow theek hai so he was a chief commissioner of awadh who fight who died during the siege of uh, this lucknow region hai na then we have general hablog he had defeated the rebels nana saheb force not nana saheb and then he died in lucknow so ye dekho kon kon mar rahe hain one is a general hablog general neel and then we have henry lawrence henry lawrence these are the people died on the battle william taylor and i suppressed the revolt at ara in kubar singh ke jo bhai jo lad rahe the then this is important kya naam hai he was he suppressed the revolt in jhansi and he captured gwalior and he is the one who killed uh, jhansi ki rani hai na kya naam hai lakshmi bai to he was is the one theek hai so this is the way the revolt had been crushed and independent state was emerged ye pehla revolt hai na samajh mein aaya so what happened after revolt sabse pehla company company power was abolished and company was told that they will rule for how many years 10 years so they will do trade in india for 10 year and the power of india will go into the hand of british crown okay take pause any doubt on this abhi tak koi doubt hai ha puch they had planned na in delhi delhi they had different rules 
देर जो एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव रिफॉर्म सोशल रिफॉर्म दे हैड सेंड मैसेज फरमान जारी किया इन लोगों ने देर शुड भी हिंदू मुस्लिम यूनिटी सो दे वर रूलिंग दिल्ली बट दे हैड स्टार सिटी ऑफ फंड मतलब देवर रूलिंग देवर रूलिंग अगर आप देखेंगे उनको सहामल को डू यू रिमेम्बर ही हैड कैप्चर ब्रिटिश हेड क्वार्टर एंड ऑल एंड देन ही स्टेब्लिश कोर्ट देयर और वहां पे सेटल भी कर रहे बट प्रॉब्लम ये है दे हैड नो मॉडर्न इक्विपमेंट इनके पास वही हथियार थे जो ब्रिटिशर से कैप्चर किया था इन्होंने बट इनके पास हाउस नहीं था द आर्म हाउस वॉज नॉट देयर सो दे कुड हैव डन बट इनके सब अदर प्लेस लाइक वी हैव लखनऊ लखनऊ इज कैप्चर ऑन बरेली 1858 पे हो रहा है सो दे हैव वन ईयर बट दे वर बिजी इन द बैटल्स ओनली सो व्हेन यू फाइट डू यू रिमेंबर इफ इंडिया विल फाइट विद पाकिस्तान इलेक्शन विल नॉट हैपन अगर मई में इलेक्शन होना है और अप्रैल में युद्ध हो गया तो इलेक्शन विल बी पोस्टपोन इलेक्शन व्हेन इंडिया इज अ वेरी पावरफुल नेशन यू कैन इमेजिन व्हाट विल हैपन इन 1858 लखनऊ में रूल्स रेगुलेशंस बनाते हो अब ऐसे राजा रूल क्लब बनाते हैं डेमोक्रेसी वाज नॉट देयर ना राजा कहीं रूल बनाता है अगर वो जीत भी जाते तो फिर वैसा ही होता जैसे पहले था देर वॉन्ट बी एनी रिफॉर्म यही होता कि पहले विदेशी शासन कर रहे थे अब इंडियन करते ओके पॉइंट सो दिस इज द वे वी हैव सीन सो ब्रीफली लेटेस्ट डिस्कस दैट वट इज द मेजर रिफॉर्म्स तो दो तीन एग्जाम्पल्स आप देख सकते हैं एक ए है जो जो सिकंदरा है सिकंदरा बाग इन लखनऊ यू कैन इमेजिन इट इज बिल्ड बाई वाजिद अली शाह but this is destroyed by britishers you can see the skeletons ye skeletons hai jo insaan ke pare hue hain the british forces led by campbell killed over 2000 rebel soldiers at a time in this house 2000 se pehle ko mara and especially the skeletons example these are the what you may say so this is the way they had tortured indians hai na bahut sare photos bhi ek mein ek aur photos hoga you can imagine ki kis tarah se rebel ko execute kiya here the 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 rebels bodies had been hanged by the uh-huh. Haan, on the bank of the Peshawar ki baat hai na, these regions ये बाद में पता चला है उस समय नहीं पता चला so these are the images we see in the revolt of 1857 okay so let us what happened the first of all what is the main failure what is the main failure the first there is a lack of cohesive program and ideology Tell me that two points on this. Two line or a question? I. What is the major reason behind the failure of 1857 revolt? There is a lack of clear program, है ना? कैसे कोहेसी प्रोग्राम हमारे पास नहीं था? Because the rebels कौन थे? Mutiny थे. Leaders कौन थे? They were deposed rulers, है ना? They are there is no enlightenment. They are not well-read persons. जितने भी lead कर रहे थे, they are the deposed rulers or zamindars. So लोग तो ना पढ़े लिखे थे ना कुछ थे. So they had no cohesive. program how will they rule in delhi they try to manage it but delhi september mahine mein jaise hi kabza hua moral down apne aap ho jayega because they were trusting badshah but badshah had been defeated and uh, his uh, family member had been killed sent to ranjun so moral down to sabse pehle sabka hoga so what happened they had no cohesive program and ideologies there is a lack of unity among the indians kaise because in case of you lucknow lucknow wanted to lead india they do not want to trust our badsha nana sahib kyu badsha pe trust karte because mara marathas were tussle with mughals before that for one century uh, they had tussles so they were not accepting badsha as a ruler so rebel ne to declare kar diya but he was not the one who was leading the battle delhi mein bathan kar raha so in every place different leaders were ruling different leaders were leading the battles they all are not united abhi tak unite दिल्ली में कोई और लीड कर रहा है झांसी में कोई और लीड कर रहा है सो देर इज नो कोहेसिव प्लान एंड देर वॉज नो सच यूनिटी देन देर इज लैक ऑफ सपोर्ट एजुकेटेड पीपल बेंगोल में सब अब सॉरी बेंगोल में आंसर ही बोल दिया इस समय सबसे पढ़े लिखे लोग कहाँ पे थे बेंगोल में थे एंड बेंगोल विज आउट ऑफ द रिविलियन सो नो सपोर्ट फ्रॉम एजुकेटेड फैमिली केप बॉम्बे में लोग पढ़े लिखे थे बॉम्बे वॉज आउट ऑफ द रिविलियन सो मद्रास सो देर वॉज नो सपोर्ट ऑफ एजुकेटेड क्लास सर सैयद सर सैयद अहमद खान जो हमने पढ़ा था नहीं पढ़ा नहीं है हाँ पढ़ा था तो सर सैयद अहमद खान इन दिस टाइम वाज ऑफिशियल पीसीएस ऑफिशियल थे नॉन रिलेटेड ऑफिशियल इन पोस्टेड इन राजस्थान ही हैड इशूड अ लेटर लेटर में किया गया दीज आर द बारबेरियन पीपल अनसिविलाइज पीपल अबाउट द रेबल्स दैट रिविलियन नहीं होना चाहिए टाइटल सर सर सैयद अहमद खान सो ही वॉज द वन सो एजुकेटेड पर्सन वर 
not but later time mein he brought a lot of reforms that humne dekha that he brought reforms in the and he founded a college kya naam tha college ka mohammad anglo oriental college mao college which later on transformed into aligarh muslim university then we have this unity among the leaders so humne abhi dekha military superiority of the no doubt hai na agar exam mein litna ho to kiska naam lenge official ka nikalson nikalson and hudson delhi mein and then others for you know who is rose and all so these are the main reasons any doubt in this these are the main reason behind the failure of 1857 revolt okay now see sabse pehle inhone kya kiya the so first of all i see in the east india company transferred its power to british crown so 1840 1858 mein queen victorian queen proclamation happened it was only that the they got crown that we discussed in the previous lectures okay there is changes in the military organization sabse pehle jitne bhi avadh wale ruler the unko suspend kiya gaya they have recruited isko recruit kiya gorkha sikh bar brought sikh ko recruit kiya then rajputs were brought from different india okay a to inhone recruitment kiya one is about recruitment the second thing he will do he will divide the people he will not allow one regiment to live together so he mix up the regiment measurement kya kiya he will mix up the regiment so that the people could not have unity like one will not have rasput regiment regiments and all so people could not have unity they have increased the number of british officer earlier their official was very less percentage so number of british official ka strength jo hai इंक्रीज किया गया ठीक है सो दैट द सर्टेन पर्सन विल लीड इट है ना लोट ऑफ चेंजेस बट रन इन द रिक्रूटमेंट प्रोसेस रिक्रूटमेंट बहुत सारे चेंजेस किया गया सो दैट दीज पीपल कुड नॉट रिवॉल्व लेटर ऑन ठीक है दे फॉलोड अ डिवाइड एंड रूल पॉलिसी ये सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट है देयर वाज अ न्यू पॉलिसी टुवर्ड्स इंडियन प्रिंसेस बोला दैट वी विल नॉट कैप्चर योर रीजन यू सपोर्ट अस है ना एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द सब्सिडी अलायंस सिस्टम्स इसी के तहत पे देयर आर थ्री दरबार्स वर हेल्ड फर्स्ट दरबार कब हुआ था 1877 दिल्ली में अब एक पहला सवाल है बस हम डिटेल में हमें नहीं जाना चाहिए दरबार दिल्ली में ही क्यों ऑर्गेनाइज हुआ ऑल थ्री दरबार ऑर्गेनाइज इन दिल्ली वेयर एज दिल्ली वाज नॉट कैपिटल ऑफ ब्रिटिश एम्पायर कैपिटल वाज शिमला एंड कलकत्ता एंड बादशाह वाज आल्सो नॉट इन दिल्ली मतलब मुगल इन डायनेस्टी डिक्लाइन 1858 ओके सो व्हाई दरबार वाज हेल्ड इन दिल्ली नो एटीन फिफ्टी एट में ब्रिटिश क्राउन आ गया ना तो कलकत्ता मतलब कैपिटल ऑफ इंडियन टेरिटरी ऑफ ब्रिटिश क्राउन और पॉइंट सो वाई दरवाज वॉज हेल्ड सोचना इस पर ठीक है एनी ऑनलाइन रेस्टोरेंट वन टू कमेंट लास्ट स्लाइड कौन सा है रौनक आर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस स्लाइड देखो राइट यू आर राइट तो इसका सबसे बड़ा रीजन है दिल्ली है कैपिटल ऑफ इंडिया फॉर सेवन टू एट हंड्रेड ईयर्स दिल्ली सल्तनत है मुगल्स वर रूलिंग फ्रॉम दिल्ली वन रीजन है दिल्ली वॉज अ प्राइम सिटी है ना पॉलिटिकल सिटी था उस समय इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं था बट इन दास इट वॉज इम्पोर्टेंट सेकेंड दे वॉन्ट टू रिमाइंड दैट री एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन रिवॉल्वेट दिस इज द वे यू रिवॉल्टेड एंड दैट इज द वे यू हैव कैप्चर सो ये दूसरा रीजन है थर्ड दिल्ली वाज इन देंटर दरबार में क्या हुआ था ऑल प्रिंसेस वर इनवाइटेड फ्रॉम साउथ इंडिया नॉर्थ इंडिया वेस्ट इंडिया सो कलदत्ता जाते तो प्रॉब्लम होता दिल्ली वाज इन देंटर है ना सो एवरी वन कैन कम टू डेली है ना सो ऑल दरबार में क्या होता ऑल प्रिंसेस वर इनवाइटेड पूरा दरबार लगा था है ना जो अब तो चांदनी चौथ का जो मैदान है रेड फोर्ट के सामने वाला हाँ वहां दरबार लगी थी ठीक है सो आई विल सम अदर टाइम आई विल शो यू दिक्चर्स ऑफ दैट दरबार पहला दरबार क्वीन विक्टोरिया ने प्रोक्लेम किया सी डिड नॉट कम इंडिया फर्स्ट ब्रिटिश क्राउन केम टू इंडिया वाज जॉर्ज फिफ्थ जॉर्ज फिफ्थ सेकेंड थे जॉर्ज फिफ्थ इज द फर्स्ट वन टू कम टू इंडिया जॉर्ज फिफ्थ है ना किंग जॉर्ज फिफ्थ वाज द फर्स्ट क्राउन हु विजिटेड इंडिया पर्सनली इससे पहले कोई भी क्राउन इंडिया नहीं आया ठीक है दरबार 
in that decision was taken that Delhi will be made the capital of India. है ना तो 1911 में बोला दिल्ली कैपिटल है अब अब उनके लिए वो भी बनाना था शहर तो उनके बाद उन्होंने शहर बनाया ठीक है लुटियन डेट हाँ इट वॉज मेड हाँ इट वॉज देयर इन द पास इट वॉज देयर पास्ट में भी था सो तलतत्ता जाना है तो यू रोड जी टी रोड वेडी क्रॉस इन द साउथ देर वॉज अ रोड मेड बाई शेर सूरी सो दिस वॉज देयर ओके सो द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज दैट What is the nature of 1857 revolt? What is the nature of 1857 revolt? So Britishers, two officials were. The administrative official Charles Ball. What name? Charles Ball, J W K. He said that 1857 revolt. Question is there. Question? What was it? Exam? 2019. Question came. 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 ideology of the raj this statement is from this book and upsc asked this question in gs paper one directly same sentence matlab the sentence of the book is taken and made as a question question kya tha revolt of 1857 was more than a sipa mutiny but something less than a national revolt comment comment karne ke liye bola this is a statement given by thomas metcalf aur upsc se wo har sawal utha raha hai dekh okay So, पहले क्या है चार्ल्स बॉल एंड आपके लिए सिंपल लग रहा है बहुत अच्छी बात है नहीं सबके लिए सिंपल नहीं है क्या है है ना हम पहले क्वेश्चन लिखेंगे थोड़ी से अब हम इसको समझ लेते हैं सिप्पे बुटनी क्या बोल रहा है चार्ल्स बॉल एंड जे डब्ल्यू के सेट दैट दिस वॉज जस्ट अपे बुटनी वाई वर द टेलिंग दे वर टेलिंग बिकॉज क्यों इफ द पीपल विल थिंक इन द फ्यूचर that they had made a revolt they means all people so they can revolt again so they were telling that it was nothing more than super mutiny it was just a army battle army but not happy with our policy we made a good policy so there won't be any battle now so they claim that this was just a super mutiny isme do line kya likhenge kyon inhone bola super mutiny hai kyon bola batao now in future me so that the people will not say that This was जब जब भी लोग हिस्ट्री पढ़ेंगे सर पीपल रीड दैट दिस वॉज जस्ट सिपर मोटिन ओनली द आर्मी रिवोल्ट लोकल पीपल डिड नॉट पार्टिसिपेट इन द बैटल उसके बाद दूसरे जो आदमी थे इनका नाम था वी डी सावरकर क्या नाम है ही है बुक इन नाइनटीन जीरो सेवन हाँ वही क्या नाम था विनायक दामोद सावरकर ही है बुक कॉल फर्स्ट वार ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस इसमें बोला दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट वार ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस एंड दूसरे सपोर्ट में थे एस बी चौधरी सो दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट वार ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस देर गिव एग्जाम्पल्स है ना थर्ड लोग बोलते हैं नो इट वॉज नॉट फर्स्ट वार ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस बिकॉज वी नो इट वॉज नॉट इन एवरी इंडिया आप समझते हैं ना इट वॉज ओनली इन द नॉर्दर्न इंडिया स्मॉल पार्ट ऑफ नॉर्दर्न इंडिया सो वी कान से दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट वार ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस एंड एवरी क्लास डिड नॉट पार्टिसिपेट है ना सो वी कैन नॉट से दिस इज एज इंडियन वार ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस बट देर इज अस्टोरियन रोल इरिक एस्टॉक एंड रुद्रांशु मुथर्जी ये बोलते हैं दिस इज अ पॉपुलर रिवॉल्ट वी हैव सीन ना इन द अवध हाउ मेनी लाइक टू लाइक पीजेंट्स हैड पार्टिसिपेटेड एंड तल्लुदार हैड बिट्रेड दिस इज अ इमेज फ्रॉम अवध बाय द लोकल पीपल आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग पीजेंट्स हैड पार्टिसिपेटिंग सो कौन कौन से रूलर है वी हैव खैराती खान सामल दीज आर द लोकल पीपल दे आर नॉट किंग एंड इट्स राजा तो है नहीं देन वी हैव मौलवी सा पीजेंट्स एंड पीजेंट्स ऑफ दिस पीजेंट्स ऑफ अवध तो वी हैव सीन दैट A lot of people participated, so this was a popular revolt. Okay, got the point? So last, we can conclude kar sakte hain that the revolt of 1857 was more than a super mutiny because we have given example of this one. Then we will say, but it was something less than the national revolt. A revolt hota to iske baad kuch hota. Something happened after 1885. ANC was formed. Even ANC was not radical initially. They become radical only after 1905 sits Surat Kapil Smith ke baad. So we cannot say this was the first war of independence. Acha exam mein kabi questions aaye. The uh, dono mein tet uh, antar samjho. First war of independence is a book written by V. D. Savarkar. First the first Indian war of independence date ke saath 1857 to 9. It is written by Karl Marx. कम्युनिज्म आया सिटिंग इन लंदन इज राइटिंग अबाउट इंडिया 
इंडिपेंडेंस ओके सो दिस इज द वे वी हैव कंप्लीटेड आवर टॉपिक और कोई डाउट है तो पूछो इसके बाद क्वेश्चन पे चलते हैं हाँ तो इसी क्रिटिक में हो गया है ना जैसे नाना साहब क्यों फाइट कर रहे थे अपने पेंशन के लिए रानी चाह रहे थे उनकी ट्रेटरी वापिस मिल जाए तो एवरी वन वन हैड देयर जब आप नोट्स पढ़े होंगे तो और भी डिटेल में दिया हुआ है ठीक है किसने किसने नहीं पढ़ा है नोट्स 1857 पढ़ लेना आज ठीक है तो आज अगर पढ़ लेंगे तो यू वॉन्ट हैव टू रिवाइज एनीथिंग